So why do we Sabbath? And to be honest, I really don't think we, we do, at least very well. The better question is why should we Sabbath? And as a society, we love to talk about how busy we are, right? And while this is a commandment to obey, it's also an invitation to be restored by God. It's, it's not another task to do or assignment for us to perform at. I see God ultimately inviting us in to draw near to him. So what would it look like for us to rest before we work? I'll share a story. I was catching up with a friend a few weeks ago and it, we hadn't seen each other in months, but I recalled him just talking about how frustrated he was with his job. Uh, and, and so I asked him about it and he, he really quickly said that it was, it was awful and that he was tired of working overtime for no recognition, no compensation, not even a thank you. And that he would rather be paid less and have an adequate workload than to continue at this pace, hoping something would change. And I share that story really because I think it embodies just the way our work culture is. It's just been ingrained into our society. And I do not believe God intends for us to operate in a societal standard of endless grinding, hustle, and hurry. There's, there's this book called The Ruthless Elimination of Hurry. And I believe that title was inspired by a quote from Christian philosopher Dallas Willard. When asked, what do I need to do to be spiritually healthy? He very simply said, you must ruthlessly eliminate hurry from your life. And that was followed up with, that's a good one now, what else? And he, he said, there is nothing else. Ironically, I listened to the audiobook for the ruthless elimination of hurry on one and a half speed. So uh, the book was very much written for someone like myself. I have been shaped by the culture around us. But in the book, there's this term mentioned that's growing in popularity referred to as hurry sickness. And I kind of mentioned it earlier with those opening questions. Are you living in this state of tiredness, this constant race even, looking for the short line or which lane's going to move the quickest? Would you describe yourself as hurry sick? To take it even further, before Thomas Edison's electric light was invented in 1879. Most people slept a whopping 10 hours each night. So when society stopped operating around natural light, our sleep habits changed. A 2020 study from the CDC shows that 28.3% of men and 27.2% of women aged 18 or older slept less than seven hours on average. And if you're between 44 and 64, that percentage is actually slightly higher. I realize talking about society's constant state of hurry and sleep deficiency is a little depressing, but my intention is to emphasize the importance of rest and just how little we do it. But this isn't to say that work isn't important, right? Genesis 2, God intends for us to work. It was six days he worked and one he rested. He didn't rest for six and work for one. And I get it, you might be thinking, Brandon, this sounds good, but come look at my schedule. You don't know, you don't know what I got going on. You don't have kids, you're not married, you, you don't have the bills I have, your job isn't as demanding as mine. You just, you just don't know. I don't think this is possible. And while some of those things may be true, I encourage you to see this not as adding something else to your plate, but ask yourself, ask God, maybe what you could take off of it as we respond to that invitation from Jesus in Matthew 11.